talking with the fabulous Loani Anderson. And I, uh, we've just been chatting a little bit earlier, but I'm fascinated because you're telling me that in uh, your town in Mexico, which is called... Saltillo. 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 In Saltillo, workplace harassment is just not a thing. That's correct. And part of it is because you're because of the culture of northern Mexican women. Yes, what? That's correct. What does that mean? Well, during the revolution time here in Mexico, there was something known as the Adelitas. And Adelitas were the women who followed their men into the revolution. Well, men died because they were the first ones in, in the line of fire. So they took over. They carried rifles, and you can see in a lot of stereotypical Mexican images and photographs of, of women with the cartridges and the rifles in the hand. So in the northern part of Mexico, that shaped the personality. Women in the northern part of Mexico are very outspoken, uh, dare I say loud mouth, they use a lot of bad words. And there's this tendency that if somebody says something inappropriate or or something that's just out of the, the context of the conversation, they will actually push the guy, you know, like stop it and physically push them. And, and it's something that the men here in northern Mexico are used to. But aren't the men in northern Mexico still physically larger than the women? Oh, definitely, definitely. And, and, then, and in Mexico, we still have the, the, the issue of the macho. But... I have a cousin who calls this the, the macho that depends on the mother. So women represent the mother image. So if mother says stop it, the guy will stop it. So there's a tendency, I guess, for, for the younger girls to, to adopt the image of, of being the, the mother in the guy's uh, life. So they're very tolerant especially when they're when they're couples. Of course some women will go overboard and there's there's quite a few cases of abuse in this area. Very tolerant. You mean the men are tolerant of being pushed around by women? Yes. Even though the men are bigger and more physically powerful than women, the culture is such that they just they don't men don't hit women. There's not violence against women in some very very few cases of it. But then there's always the backup system, the friends, the mother. There's a lot of respect for, for women. So now you also said that there's a culture of women protecting women or surrounding uh, a man who is talking to a single lone woman. Yes, that's correct. We, we normally go out in groups of women when we're single. So if we go to a bar or to a dance club, if a guy approaches one of our girlfriends, our instinct or our tendency is to surround both of them and start talking to the guy. So if the guy has ill intentions, he'll normally walk away. But if he's relaxed, he just wants to have a wonderful conversation, then he starts talking to the whole group, and then the rest of us slowly leave them alone. Mind blown. But let, let me just ask this. Uh, there's no feminist movement in northern Mexico. You say you're saying okay. There's a feminist movement from a perspective of those women who are abused, but as in an everyday fight for equality of salaries, that doesn't happen. Salaries are very level between men and women, and it's not something that we talk about. It's not that I'm a woman and I'm powerful. I could say that maybe in northern Mexico it's a given. I'm not saying that they're not cases of abuse. I'm not saying that you know bad things don't happen. But in a majority, women in northern Mexico are, are very assertive, very knowledgeable of, of their power. Unfortunately, some go over the limits, of course. Well, you said also that there is, as, I think I heard you say, there's at least as much abuse of men by women as vice versa. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. And how? Do, um, yeah, how does that how does that occur? What does that look like? What does uh, uh, domestic abuse of a man by his wife, his woman, look like? What does that look like? Okay, with the with the coming in of of large industries into the northern part of Mexico, 
the automotive industry uh, comes the idea that with their, where there's more money, there's more power. So since women are now working in the automotive industry, it's not the traditional stay-at-home mom anymore. Women are feeling empowered because they have this economical uh, attribute or, or they have a lot of money now so they can control situations. And of course, another thing that was brought in, the difference to the United States is that the automotive industry there, uh, you work eight hours. And here it's 10 to 12 hours per day. So mom comes home, she's tired, maybe the husband came in an hour or two before, and he hasn't done anything concerning the house of the kids, and she will get aggressive. She will attack him. She will diminish him emotionally, which we know is the first step to, uh, what would be the word, to destroying somebody. First it's verbal. You're not good enough. You don't bring enough money home. And it slowly grows and grows. And unfortunately, I did have a case where she actually hit him. And the guys don't, like, get violent and drunk and violent and smack their wives around for diminishing them? I'm not saying it doesn't have been always, but the, the machismo, everybody thinks that machismo is men go about beating women and, and stepping over them. Machismo has this thing that you can talk evil about any woman. Don't talk about my mother. So the macho is always hooked onto his mother image. And if a woman is tricky enough, I'm not going to say smart because I don't, I don't agree with this kind of behavior, but if the woman is smart enough to emulate this motherly image, she can get away with anything. So really, it, we're really talking about, at least in northern Mexico, there's just a completely yes. different culture. Boys yes. are, and girls are raised with a completely alien <laughs> sense of yes. the roles of men and women than what we are used to here. So do you, are you familiar, do people here watch like American television? Do they know about the Me Too movement up here? Do they know what's going on in the U.S. and Kavanaugh and Trump and all the, the grabbing of, of Jen? Do they, they know about that? Yes. And so what, and so what do they think about, what are women in Mexico, the women, your clients, because you're a therapist and you talk to people who have issues, but you have girlfriends and woman friends. And so what do they think about the, the situation between men and women up in the north? I had one girlfriend say, well, all the women in America should come down for a couple of weeks and we'll teach them. <laughs> well, okay. Well, let me just say, I'm talking to our beloved friend, Luana Anderson. Your YouTube channel, Infomundo TV, is on, uh, we'll, this is, uh, we'll put a link to it right here on this one. And, of course, you are our beloved friend uh, and fellow follower of the great one, Peg, Professor Peggy Mason yes. of the University of Chicago. And you and I will be seeing each other in just a few weeks in San Diego. Yes. At the, San Diego. In the, in the Society for Neuroscience. Well, Luani, thank you very much for an amazing conversation. You, thank you. Mind blown. <laughs> thank you.